Well, in the West, irrespective of um, ideology, uh, pretty much everyone except the government of Hungary or perhaps Italy uh, is fairly openly rooting for a Bolsonaro defeat. Uh, not necessarily because they agree with everything that Lula says, uh, but because uh, they expect Brazil to become a more predictable interlocutor. And um, and I think in a way they're right because uh, it's been difficult for you know U.S. Uh, diplomats or uh, European diplomats to actually engage Brazil in a conversation. So I think the uh, vast majority of Western governments uh, and, and Latin American governments, I think, are hoping for a Lula victory. I think uh, BRICS countries um, are somewhat, mer- uh, somewhat uh, more ambiguous. I think for Russia, it doesn't matter that much because Lula has also, um, you know, causing quite some perplexity in the West, uh, made comments that suggest that he will certainly not side with the West uh, when it comes to the war in Ukraine has actually said that Ukraine's president will be is, is as responsible for the war as Russia's president. So I think on that particular uh, issue, uh, Brazil will continue to play a role that is, is, is seeking to articulate some kind of non-alignment, strategic neutrality, equidistance between uh, the West and the non-West. Uh, but on many, many other issues, particularly climate change, uh, I think that there is an expectation in the West that uh, in a Lula presidency, Brazil will be a more constructive actor. So I think Lula's time in government is remembered internationally as a time of diplomatic activism, as a time when Brazil um, was advancing on, uh, in, in the sense of, of dealing with domestic challenges. Uh, and based on that domestic stability uh, that the Lula government enjoyed in part because of the commodity boom, of course, uh, which in a way made it easier to govern because uh, the president could uh, reduce uh, inequality and, 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 and reduce poverty without the kinds of tough decisions that other countries have to make, for example, you know, tax hikes, which uh, economic elites dislike. So in a way, he was able to, to, to reduce poverty and, uh, without actually taking away from the rich, which explains why he left government with uh, sort of an 80% approval rating. Well, a third Lula government would uh, instantly transform Brazil's relationship to uh, its neighbors in the region, in part because uh, we're in the midst of a second pink tide. So uh, the vast majority of Latin American countries right now are governed by uh, left-wing governments. Uh, moments of regional integration uh, tend to occur when there is an ideological alignment between countries. Uh, and then it stops when you have a divergence from an ideological point of view. So I think right now, uh, Brazil's isolation in the region has to do with that. It's one of the few countries governed by a right-wing president, but also because uh, Brazil's president has utilized foreign policy to mobilize his followers. So, you know, um, lashing out against Argentina, against Chile, against Venezuela. Uh, I mean, this is really quite uh, significant um, that... uh, there has been a purposeful, uh, it has been a concerted effort to demonize neighboring countries in order to, to mobilize radical elements of his uh, uh, governing coalition. All that would, of course, change very quickly if uh, Lula were to, uh, were to be president. But a lot of challenges remain. Uh, it's a very different Latin America than what, when it was in, in, in the 2000s. Because in a way, all Latin American countries now are competing to gain access to China uh, and, and export uh, non-value-added goods. Um, and on, on top of that, I think that the entire region is in the midst of political upheaval, anti-incumbency sentiment. Because of that, I think leaders in the entire region will have to focus on domestic politics to, you know, uh, to assure political survival. And that, I think, will make it difficult for them to you know, travel the region and, and spend a lot of time 
an effort on articulating some kind of vision for the future of the region.